So in the last session, we have seen the introduction of the CDK, how it works, end-to-end -end functionality, and how to initialize the project. Okay. So <clears throat> and uh, we have also seen the some of the examples uh, to understand the end-to-end -end process. Okay, of the CDK and the supported language. So today's session, we will see how to install prerequisites like we say, you know, Node.js, Visual Studio, AWS CLI for the command line utilities, and then how to authenticate the AWS uh, from the CDK projects. Okay, basically how to integrate or configure IMB users access credentials. Okay. So uh, let's see. To install the prerequisite, basically you need to just <clears throat> search in the browser. Like suppose you want to install IDE tool, Visual Studio. Just you can just simply search, install Visual Studio, whatever version you want to install. Okay, make sure it should be a latest one. I'm just going for the checking for the 2022, or you can just mention the 2023. Okay, so you can just simply uh, search, and you will see the official documentation Visual Studio. You can just go to the download section, and you can download the community community edition. Okay, it's a free one. Now coming to the AWS CLI, you can simply search install AWS CLI, and you need to go to the official websites. Just make sure you need to always follow the official websites, not the random one. Okay, so just uh, scroll down a little bit. You will see the OS wise installation method. Uh, I have a Windows Windows machine, so I will go with the Windows one. Okay, so just scroll down, and you will see the download link here. If you just open, it will uh, download the package. Okay, then uh, you might aware how to install the exe package. With the simply double click on that and install the packages okay by clicking next okay once you install <clears throat> how to verify let's see you can simply <clears throat> open the visual studio as i'm using for the ide tool you can simply run the command aws hyphen hyphen version so it should shows the cli version you know the latest one 2.2.6 okay so now how to authenticate the ima user credentials okay so for that you need to go to ima console create the users okay and get the access credentials and configure here okay let's see how to create the im users go to the iam users i am iam users basically identity access management that is used for authentication purpose we will cover entire things in the separate session because it's a import, very important topic in the AWS cloud. If you are if you are working as a DevOps engineer or cloud engineer, okay. Once you open the IMA service, just go to the I users. In users, you can simply create users. Let's say POC web app user, okay. POC web app. This next. It's asking for the permission so I can just simply attach permission for now I am just using administrator access okay I am just granting the full access for this user once we create the user you can simply go to that user and go to security credentials then just scroll down a little bit you will find the option access key Simply create on access, create access key, and you can just select command line interface. Just scroll down. You need to confirm the checkbox. I understand the recommendation, okay? And just click on next. Tag value is optional. You can give or otherwise you can skip. Just click on create access key. You will find the access key and secret key, okay? Th this kind of values. So you need to copy one by one and configure. Let's see how to configure it. So to configure the uh, IAM user authentication to working uh, from our CDK project, so our resources can be deployed into the AWS accounts. So we can just simply run the command AWS configure, okay? Press enter. Then it will ask access key. So as I shown earlier, that access key should just copied and 
paste here okay then just press enter again it will ask secret access key the second value you can just copy from the AWS console and paste here okay and then press enter it will ask due region <clears throat> this is a very uh, you know, important things where you want to deploy the resources that should be select here default region name you should give the region name here how to find the correct region name let's see you can just click on the global button okay and you will see here the region code suppose i am working for the mumbai region now so i, I can see the ap south one okay ap south one if you are working like uh, you know tokyo or something frankfurt ireland london so you need to copy region code from this okay and you can just paste there So I'm just keeping the default value because I, I have already configured the my access can secret key default output format. You can keep text or JSON that don't doesn't uh, worry and just press enter. Now how to verify my credentials are working. Okay. You can just simply run the command S3 LS AWS S3 LS basically. I'm just what the command is is just list out the S3 buckets available in the AWS accounts. Okay. So I have two uh, account, uh, two S3 bucket basically. So it will uh, print here. Okay. So authentication is working fine. Now we have done the basic installation, you know, prerequisites. We install the AWS CLI, Visual Studio Photo, Visual Studio for you know, configure our projects. You know? Now we will see how to initialize the projects basically. You know? Normally we see in the git we need to initialize, you know, if you are working as a fresh project. So as I, as I, as I ex explain some, uh, you know, commands to how to initialize the project. So let's uh, run that. Okay. Before run, we need to create a you know, separate folder. Just I can give the name POC web app. Okay. If you don't, uh, if you don't have, uh, you know, go through the my earlier which video for the CDK, you can just first go uh, before uh, you know initializing the project, so you can just have understanding. Now we need to go to that folder. Okay. Now we can just simply run the command to initialize the project. First, we need to install CDK package npm install hyphen g aws cdk. Okay, this module needs to be installed. There are four or five commands we need to uh, execute basically to initialize the you know CDK projects folder. The command has been run. Okay, now we can install the programming language where we are you know. By using programming language, we are building the our resources. So, as I said yesterday, the I mean the last session, there there are uh, multiple language supports like you know TypeScript, JavaScript, Java, Go language. Okay. So I am using TypeScript, so I am just installing the TypeScript here. It will take some time to install the package. Okay, the lab programming hang the TypeScript has been installed. As you can see, still my project is not initialized. Okay, so we need to uh, now initialize the TypeScript language. Just run the command cdk init app language and give the language name. Okay, you can see now the project has been initialized. Now you can see the folder structure bin folder, leaf folder, test folder, okay, package.json. Okay, the package has been installed. So now we can just run the command cdk bootstrap. Okay. So, so basically bootstrap will generate, you know, it will create S3 bucket in the AWS accounts. You can see here the one for once we uh, you know, successfully executed the CDK bootstrap command. It's a bootstrapping the environment in AWS accounts. Okay. 
and in the backend it will generate one s3 bucket to store uh, his uh, changes okay change set basically for the cloud formation okay we will see the folder structure over there now we, we can say we have successfully initialized our cdk projects okay now let's see verify to the cloud formation template and s3 bucket okay once we log into the aws uh, console we can just simply go to cloud formation service okay and s3 s3 bucket okay so we can verify the folder structure so here s3 bucket has been created we can just navigate navigate to the s3 bucket and we can see the default changes okay if you just click on any particular folder and download it we can see the our, uh, our changes basically so i have done some um, basic uh, testing yesterday so that's what is showing the old changes basically once we deploy any resources it will show the it will come up here okay basically it will generate new json file with the whatever changes we have deployed now we can verify we can verify with the cloud formation stack it will generate a cdk toolkit basically for his change set we can see the uh, stack info here okay event we can track here whatever the changes we have you know done with the cdk and resources we can find here this is for the uh, cdk project itself this is uh, once we created our own uh, stack we will see in the next lecture okay so i can uh, clearly show you how the event goes on and resources created we can see the output uh, structure parameters okay and also we can see the cloud formation template here okay guys so we have successfully initialized the project and see in the uh, folder structure in the cloud formation so in the uh, next session we will see how to deploy the particular resources like you know we normally uh, create through the console elastic you know load balancer s3 bucket ec2 servers im rows credentials okay so we will uh, entire uh, resource deployment should be through the cdk projects only so we will see in the next session